As a filmmaker and editor who work with huge clients and achieves millions of views, I always have to deliver the videos on time. This means that I had to learn what is the most efficient way to edit a video. And after years and years of experience, I found the best way to save hours by editing videos. So today, I will share the exact way that I use shortcuts so I can get the job done in half the time. First of all, let's set up the keybinds and then I will show you how to exactly use them step by step. Just follow me here. Go to DaVinci Resolve Keyboard Customization, then choose Trim Search for a Ripple. And to Playhead, set W. Uh oh, another shortcut uses this key, but it's not a problem, just click assign. But now there are one key assigned to two things, so let's fix that. If you click W in the keyboard section, you will see what uses this key. Click on the one that we don't need, in this case it's dynamic trim mode because who cares about dynamic trim mode anyway, and just add a different key. It doesn't matter what it is, but it shouldn't be an already used key. But again, it doesn't matter what it is, you won't use it anyway. So let's continue with the other ripple. Go back to trim, ripple, and set the start to playhead to Q. Next thing, let's go to view, zoom, and here add the shortcut. Don't delete the previous one, just add a new one with the plus icon. This way you can use multiple shortcuts for the same thing. Zoom in, add shift and Q. Zoom out, add shift and W. Next, go to playback and add the key 1 to play in reverse and add the key 3 to play forward. Above that, add the new keybind to the pause and start playback. Make sure you add a new keybind because you need spacebar as well. So add the key 2. Only 2 more to go and we are done man, let's go. Go to timeline, split clip, add E. And don't forget to remove the E from somewhere else. Also above it, there is a select clips forward. Add R to select clips forward on this track and add Command Shift R or Ctrl Shift R on select clips forward on all the tracks. Whew! Congratulations! It was hard but we are done. You made it through. Now let me show you how to edit and how to become the fastest editor that you know. Okay, so here we have some footage. The first thing that we have to do is to press 2. It will start to play the footage. Okay, we can stop it with 2. Let's press the key 3. It will start the playback, so what is the difference between 2 and 3? If you press 3 again, you can see it will play double the speed. You can press 3 again. Oh, it's 4 times the speed. And again, and again, and again. So with 2, you can start and stop. With 3, you can play, play faster, play faster, play faster, play faster. So what is 1? If you press 1, it will start to play backwards. If you press 1 again, it's doubling the speed going backwards. Okay, let's say we have some footage here and we want to edit this footage here. But we can't see it because it's so little on our timeline. We can press Shift and Q to zoom in. Or if you want to zoom out, we can press Shift and W. This is the footage that we have. This is a sentence. Let's say we want the footage to say this is sentence and not this is a sentence. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to zoom in and we have to search where the A starts. So let's play. Oh, here the A starts, but it's not the exact moment that when the A starts. So we can use the arrows on our keyboards to go frame by frame. You can see it here. We go frame by frame. And here it is. This is where the A starts. So let's cut with the key E. What you can see, it split the clip. So now we can search for when the A ends. So what you would normally do is press E again. You click here, you select that clip, you delete, and you bring this clip over here, and now we have this edited. But this is so slow, and you will die if you continue to edit like this. And this is why you have a key bind for this. What we can do is just press Q. And what Q did, it just split the clip, deleted this part, and brought this over here. And it did it with one key. So if you press Q, it deletes that part, the part before. Okay, so what if we want to delete the is part? So we want only this sentence. Let's search for whether this ends and the is begins. This is it. So let's click E. And now we have this clip here. We select this, delete, and we are done. But again, this is so slow and we have a key bind for this. So what we can do is just press W. Uh-oh, nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? You see, we have this clip selected and we want to modify this clip. And this is not going to work because this clip is selected. So what you can do is select this clip with the mouse, but again, it's so slow. So we have a keybind for this as well. We can press R, so we selected all the clips from this playhead and we can press now W. What this W does, it just cuts here, it deletes this part and bringing this part closer. So 90% of the time, what will you do is you will cut with the E, you will press R and you will press Q. Here how it's going to work. So you go to the footage, oh, I want to cut here, you press E, you go forward, but let's say this clip is selected, so Q won't work. 
So now you have to press R, this selects all the clips and you can press Q. And that's it, it's so easy. You need Q, W, E and R. Q and W for cutting, E for splitting and R for selecting all the clips. There is one more thing that I have to tell you. So what if we have a clip above the other clip right here and let's say we want to cut all this because it's like a text and, and we don't want that. What we would normally do is we would press R and Q. But as you see, the layer above didn't even move. So what is going on? How can we cut at the same time? This is why you have the shortcut with the Shift, Command and R. This is to select all the clips, not just on this layer, but all the tracks. And if now we press Q, it done its job. So when you are cutting the video, you will do this. You will, oh, I don't want this part. You will press E, you will go forward. Okay, now I want to talk again, boom. And you can check it if it's good by pressing one, because it starts to play backwards. You can press two and you can press two again to start. This part, we don't need this part. So let's get rid of it. Let's press R and W and it got rid of it. It's so easy that I can do raw footage editing in half an hour. It used to take so much more time and I use this key bands on every timeline that I use. This way, I don't need the DaVinci Resolve speed editor and things like that. I don't use the cut page. I just go here, use Shift Q to zoom in, Shift W to zoom out, two to start, two to stop, one to play backwards, three to play forward to make it faster. I can split with E, I can select with R, I can cut with Q and so on. I don't think that I use other keyboard shortcuts and I have been able to edit videos with millions of views. So this is my secret, use it well. And don't forget to join my family for exclusive talks and advice, link in the description.